uh, what is the difference in gramin 1 and gramin 2 methodology yeah well a uh, gramin 1 uh, actually it was classic system is called classic system is very rigid it was very rigid 50 weeks uh, long long term to 52 weeks long term one year long term and equal installments uh, and initially you can have 5,000, then 6,000, then 7,000 cycle after cycle you can increase 1,000 1, or 2,000 alone amount and once you um, fail to pay back in any, any reason maybe it could be uh, um, a natural disaster you know, uh, it could be uh, family um, health problems uh, you you will be treated as a defaulter and you don't have you will have, you have to miss your opportunity you know uh, if you if you are a defaulter you are not able to get loan second time so this kind of receipt because Grameen uh, were thinking they are not responsible for this situation you know this is natural disaster this is the accidental cases uh, they are facing uh, so they are not responsible there is the intentional willful defaulter so how can we save them how can we treat them responsibly and respectfully so that you are not guilty whenever you become a defaulter we are not treating you are guilty so when in the classic system when they become a defaulter they feel guilty okay I am now I couldn't pay you know, on time so I'm uh, I'm guilty. So guilty feelings it was, and also um, there, because there is no flexibility. That's why Gramin two, Gramin two, Gramin two has a big a lot of things, new uh, loans, um, products and services, uh, savings products, uh, and or loan uh, rescheduling uh, you know, option. So in Grameen 2, if you are not able to pay, so you you are not, instantly you are not being treated as defaulter. He or she can come to us and tell your problem, what you are going to do, what is your problem. So if she, if she say, okay, I, I suppose to pay um, um, 200 taka rupees per week. But I am not able to pay. Why? Because I lost my all uh, business. Uh, why? Because of my husband's sickness or children's sickness or natural disaster or something else. Okay, then what you can do? What do you want to do? I want to do, I can manage only 50 rupees per week instead of 20, 200. Okay, so how many, how many uh, years you need to pay back entire amount? Uh, it was one year long term loan, then he, he can extend his two years or three years long term loan. Loan term, they are extending loan term and uh, reducing their uh, loan installment. So, so when you do that, I mean, okay. when you, you make this kind of uh, agreement, then you are no longer a defaulter. And what about the interest rate? Will it vary or the time? Time, it, it depends on two years now. It depends on okay. uh, uh, if you pay 50, 50, 50, how long it takes time. Sometimes you can say, okay, I will pay 100. Six months later, I can pay 100. One year later, I can pay 150. Something is, is uh, by the negotiation. They make an agreement, contract, individual contract. So then by following the contract, he started, you know, pay, paying back. How successful uh, Grameen 2 program compared to Grameen 1 program? I think it's uh, uh, compared to Grameen, uh, now is uh, Grameen 2 um, is uh, very successful, I, I say, because the people are not uh, defaulting. Hmm? They are uh, 92, 98% uh, repayment rate, you know, in a stand constantly going on. But in Grameen classic system, sometimes it was 98%, sometimes 95%, sometimes 90%. Because if some disasters in occurs, then it goes down. And after disaster, it goes up. Something, you know, 
uh, uneven uh, repayment rate. But right now, this in Stanley and very, you uh, know, in Stanley is uh, consistently there. How do you ensure uh, credit discipline or credit culture when you are offering a lot of flexibility in Gramin to methodology? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, uh, credit discipline means uh, what we mean, credit discipline, is uh, uh, first of all uh, selecting the right people for the program, pro providing uh, group uh, training properly, and uh, uh, determining the right amount of loan and uh, from the borrower side we, we expect they uh, attend the center meeting uh, punctually they payment, make the payment regularly and they invest their loan money in proper income generating activities so because of flexibility now people uh, in classic system they uh, stay away uh, you know, from the center meeting. Because if they come to the center meeting, they have to pay. You know, they are obligated to pay. Otherwise, they will feel guilty. Now, if you even if you don't, if you don't, if you, if you are not able to pay, you can come to the center meeting. And center meeting, coming to the center meeting is compulsory, obligatory. You have to attend the center meeting. If you miss the center meeting, then you will lose some credit point. So for next time when they, they will determine your credit uh, ceiling, then you will lose some point. Then you cannot, uh, cannot, uh, you know, you are, you are, you will not be qualified for the maximum limit of your loan cycle when you get the. If you are, uh, if you are not attending some meeting, if you are missing any installment, if you are uh, missing any. Um, Round thing or, or uh, savings installment. So, um, in in that way, if we you know uh, you know um, assess the the coming to uh, success, then I think it's better. You, know? you are visiting all across the globe and uh, giving your providing your training to. Uh, Grameen Foundation partners and mostly I assume that you are uh, mostly giving training to uh, the MFIs who are replicating Grameen 1 model. Mm -hmm. So what is the relevance of Grameen 2 methodology for them other than the Bangladesh okay. CMFIs? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, actually Grameen 2 is 100% uh, uh, um, is uh, um, applicable to standing portfolio. So they don't need any, any external uh, help, any external resources, money, uh, funding, uh, support. They are sustainable to Bangladeshi context because the regulatory, uh, you know, um, act um, and environment. Uh, they, um, uh, it was it was built uh, based on the Bangladeshi uh, regulations. So because Bangladeshi uh, MFIs are. Especially Grameen Bank is a bank. You know, Grameen Bank is allowed to receive the uh, savings from the borrowers. You know, yeah. uh, and also the other countries, uh, they are not allowed. For example, India. India's MFIs are not allowed to receive the savings from the uh, borrowers. So the Grameen success, Grameen two success is big success is the savings component. They have added a lot of savings options in their loan products. Uh, services. So uh, that's why now the Grameen banks uh, mm, uh, mobilized uh, Grameen banks or savings banks is 150 percent more than their loan because if their if their loan is 100, their savings balance is 150. They are moving from the outsiders, non borrowers. So this is a great success. You know, in, in Grameen too, because this is, and also.